Hi guys, Miss Delitto here. We're going to review how to divide decimals, and we're going to look at three different situations where we involve division and decimals. And the first is taking a decimal and dividing it by a whole number. So the first thing, when we set up our long division, we always want to put our first number inside our division bracket and our second number on the outside. I always remember this thinking about when you go to a restaurant and sit in a booth, the first always slides in the booth and the second always is on the outside of the booth. Once we've set this up, we can go ahead and we can divide. And I always like to start here. So six goes into seven, we know one time. Six times one is six, so we can subtract that. We're left with one. And we're gonna continue that division by bringing three down. Six can go into 13 two times, and six times two is 12, so we're gonna subtract 12. We know six can't go into one, so we're gonna continue to bring those digits down. And six goes into 12 two times. Six times two is 12, so we'll subtract. And now that we have a remainder of zero and we have no more digits to bring down, we know we're done dividing. To ensure that our decimal is in our answer in the right spot, we know this is, is going to move straight up. So 73 and 2 tenths divided by 6 is equal to 12 and 2 tenths. Now let's look at dividing a whole number in a decimal. So again, when we set this up, the first number is always going to go on the inside and our second number is always going to go on the outside. Anytime we're dividing with decimals, we want to make sure there are no decimals on the outside. So we want to move any decimal points on the outside, and we want to move them until the number becomes a whole number. So we would need to move this one space over to make 2 and 5 tenths into 25. Since we moved this decimal over one time, we're going to need to move the decimal point on the inside the same number of times or the same number of places. So because we moved the decimal in this case once, we're gonna to need to move the decimal inside once. You'll notice nine doesn't have a decimal right now, so we're going to have to add one before we can actually move it. So nine is the same as 9.0, so now that we have that decimal there, we can move it one space to the right. So our new division problem becomes 90 divided by 25. Now we can divide. Not, 25 can't go into 9, but it can go into 90, and it goes in 3 times. 25 times 3 is 75, so we'll go ahead and subtract. Do some borrowing here. 10 minus 5 is 5. 8 minus 7 is 1. Since 25 can't go into 15, we can need to keep dividing because we cannot leave this remainder here. However, we don't have any digits left to bring down. Just like we added a point zero here and kept nine the same, we can still add a decimal and a zero here because 90 and 90 point zero are the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead right now and just move that decimal point straight up so I don't forget about it. And now I can bring down that zero and now we know 25 can go into 150, and it goes in six times. 25 times six is 150. Now I'm left with a remainder of zero, and I have no more digits to bring down. So we know nine divided by two and five tenths is equal to three and six tenths. Our last example involves dividing a decimal by a decimal. So again, we're gonna set up that long division the first number goes inside, first person always slides into the booth, and the second number on the outside. Just like in the example above, we want to move any decimal points on the outside until the number becomes a whole number. So we need to move this one space to the right. And again, we're going to move the decimal point on the inside the same number of places. So because we move that decimal point once, we're going to move the decimal point on the inside one place to the right again. Our new division problem becomes 426 divided by 12. Now we can start dividing. 
So 12 cannot go into 4, but it can go into 42. And it goes into 42 three times. 12 times 3 is 36. 12 minus 6 is 6. We know 12 can't go into 6, so we're going to bring down our next digit. And 12 can go into 66 five times. 12 times 5 is 60. And we're left with a remainder of 6. Again, since we have no more digits to bring down, but we have a remainder, we're going to need to add a decimal and a 0 and we can bring down that zero, and we know 12 goes into 60 five times, and we'll move that decimal point straight up. 12 times five is 60. Now that we have a remainder of zero and no more digits to bring down, we know we're done dividing. So 42 and 6 tenths divided by one and two tenths is equal to 35 and five tenths.